Hey guys, this is Gabriel here. Um, today I'd like to bring a little bit about PyTest uh, coverage, which is a library that helps us to see our test with more details. So if you just run here, um, I'll test the way it is. Python -m, uh, PyTest, and then the name of the file. You're gonna see uh, that everything has passed and it's just six we have six tests here and then that is it all the information we have is this but eventually we need a little more right so for that we need to install uh pytest cob so python dash m pip install um pytest cob right so once that's done we have the the application here available so now we need to run python dash m my test dash dash cov and then uh, this is going to point to the current path right this point here so once that's uh, we run it it's going to create the file here a coverage file and then we can see more information um, in our tests right so for instance we have and this uh, little project, we have uh, 21 statements for the main uh, file, and zero of them uh, was missed, and we have 100% of it covered. So let me just uh, comment this test here and run again the coverage. So now it's going to be it's going to show a little bit different. Uh, now we have one statement that was missed and 95% of the code was tested, right? Um, so we can see that there is uh, some difference here and it's gonna show with more details. Uh, but I would like to see more information. So what can I do? I have a bigger project here with more tests and then I want to create an HTML file. Uh, to do that, I need to run Python dash M and then I need to run the PyTest again with the coverage, right? So this time I don't, I want to run the of dash report HTML of again and the point to 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 uh point to the current path. So it's gonna get all the tasks of this project, right? So once that's done, we are gonna have this folder uh, HTML cov and we're going to open this index uh, HTML file here and now we have a lot of files right and we can see that the global uh, coverage is 98% and we have files with 100% of coverages of the coverage and then we have this file here with 98 90% so if I open this one I'm going to see that we have 29 statements uh, we ran uh, the tests for 26 of them and three uh, uh, were missed. And we have here the green ones with the green bars. Uh, they are they have passed. Uh, they were tested actually. And the red ones we never test. So in this case, uh, I can see clearly what I what I'm missing when I'm um, building my my tests. Right. So I would have to uh, create tests for these three statements and then my coverage would go to 100 percent uh sure that all uh depending on the company's policy uh this can be uh, we need to test 70 percent the 60 percent or 80 percent of our code and the most important functions and methods but it would depend on the company so that's basically how you, you can uh, do it creating the html file and use the coverage to see more details of your tests all right so I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.